carb more. And that's a pure start crying. Morning. We're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Guess what came in? All right, hold on. Let's get you caught up. So if you're new to the channel or you ain't watched yet, meet Aunt Dorothy. We went and we got this thing out of the salvage yard. Easiest uh, rescue I've done yet, thanks to that big ass loader. She looks pretty rust free. Heck yeah, that's one way to tell. We did a will it run and kind of got her to fire up there at the end just a little bit. Now, some of you people, oh, you should have replaced the points from the start. You should have did the condensers. If you had put the plugs, if you had done the coil, Hell, if I would have rebuilt it, it would have ran. Well, no crap. That's not the point of what we're trying to do. We're trying to see if we could get it going without replacing everything. And it ended up being the rotor, okay? It still ran off the old points. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, we did a clean, clean up on it. Got her shined up, looking good. Maybe you see the new shoes on her. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. I don't know why people really seem to enjoy that video, but all right, here's what we got going on today. My Weber finally came in. That's the incorrect one they sent? Get on out of here. And right here's what we need to throw on. So that's what we got going on today. We're gonna try to get this thing running. Uh, I'm still gonna have to order some parts, but we do have electric fuel pump. Maybe we can get it to idle test the transmission. I really want to see if the transmission is going to work at all before we go too far with this thing because we could just sell it as a project as is to someone else. If the transmission's good, then we can worry about getting that thing on a gas tank, start going through some brakes, doing some stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see how how tuned up this baby can get in this video. I think Aunt Dorothy's going to be good to us. She's a pretty good gal. Uh, so now there's a few people who's been calling me the Dotson King. Like y'all heard of Joe Exotic, the Tiger King from Oklahoma, and because these Dotsons keep finding me and teleporting to my shop, everyone thinks I'm the Dotson King. Could you imagine me going up to the salvage yards looking like this and asking if they had any dirty Dotsons I could buy? That's why this damned old car won't run because of that bitch Carol Baskin. Two things. One, you got to be careful in the Wranglers be rocking a side pipe on accident and two not a bad look on me i'm just saying i just feel like if i really looked like this i'd be able to karaoke the shit out of some cotton eye joe or something i might have to rock these wranglers for the rest of the video though i'm just saying they feel good imagine buying this car and you find all this in the back <laughs> pick all that up with the channel locks and take it to the burn barrel all right that's enough horse play so we're gonna pull off this well, I don't know what you want to call this. I call it Mount Carbmore. Uh, we whipped it up during the first will it run just to be able to adapt this Weber. That's missing pieces because, yeah, that's super helpful. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're going to mess with a factory carburetor on one of these L20Bs, the high tachis or whatever the hell they call them, I don't know. Get you a 12, bend her up about like so. Take her to the old belt sander or grinder, knock some edges off of her. All right, there I'll become your best friend. Mount carb more. Just as terrible looking as the last time I seen it. I was talking about giving this thing away if someone would cut a hole in their hood and run it. But if I'm being honest, uh, Eventually on down the road, I think it'd be cool to rent a place and do like a 
car show or something maybe hosted by me that'd make one hell of a trophy <laughs> just saying we may have to hang on to it because of that that's like best of show right there quite a few people who told me to keep the factory card well, I didn't throw it out obviously she's right here and I will put it back in this box and I'll put it in the trunk of this thing and whoever ends up with it if y'all want to deal with it you're welcome to it not my first Datsun not my first rodeo either and uh, I've had better luck with Weber's than the factory ones now that ain't saying nothing it don't mean I ain't doing something wrong I'm just telling you I've got them around with Weber so that's what I'm putting on there so for all you Hitachi Hibachi, Sirachi, lovers, here you go. Be in the trunk or hatch. Look, I'll even, I'll pack it nice. I like how they didn't send this in an actual red line carburetor box, but they cut the top off of it and put it in there. <laughs> Seems shady. It's off eBay, surely it has to be legit. Says Weber on it, good enough for me. Now I know you guys are ready to throw this on, but uh, in the last video, we had three starter switches sent to us. So we're good on those. But guess what? We had more mail show up yesterday, so I'm gonna open that real quick. I'd be lying if I didn't say I love me some mail time. Got a sticker the other day, My Legacy Garage. This one's from Gabe O'Nan again. Damn, Gabe. I see my old fluke was worn out, so he sent me a new meter. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I guess he's tired, he's tired of seeing me use vice grips and stuff like that. Fair enough, Gabe. But, hey, that's nice. Don't stick your finger in that old wire brush. And a test light. I have one of these. I actually cut the uh, alligator clip off some time ago. Dang, Gabe, you're going all out, man. You're going to take the struggle out of my videos. Everyone's going to be like, you better get that son of a bitch running. You know how much stuff Gabe sent you? This is go-to photography. Put in. Hope this tripod works for you. If not, sell it and buy car parts. Let the vids stay classy. From Cornbread in Kentucky. I like the name Cornbread. 14 boxes and seven bags later, I may finally get to see it. You damn right. I can build a bicep with that, baby. Oh, whoo. Woo. 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 It's like a mama giraffe and then her little baby giraffe with a broken leg. I mean, I'd say that one's probably a little better hell. Y'all let Chuck Norris know I'm in town. I forgot, I talked with this guy from Arkansas. Boy, he just sent me all kinds of doodaddies. We got fuel pump, fuel pump, gasket from hell. Is that baby polished? You damn right, block off plates. Boy, we got all kinds of cool stuff here. This one's going on the pickup up truck. Hey, we got some porting and polishing going on or what? Are you trying to get your truck to make 47 horsepower instead of three? <laughs> Huge thank you to everyone who sends me stuff. Uh, if you want to send stuff, PO Box is in the description of this video. Guys, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. It's always good even when you think about using the instructions and the instructions show you how to use the two piece adapter plate like I used to have but they send you the one piece. Guess we're gonna have to whip out our common sense for this one. Common sense is gonna tell us we match the small to the small and the big to the big and well, that kind of being like that tells us it needs to go that away. And that does sit down on there, but then common sense tells us because that's got a recess on it, there's probably some bolts that are meant to go there and well, right there, we got some that could go down in there, so looks like we need to pull these two studs out. Currently, there's five studs touching this adapter plate. 
One, two, three, four, five. Don't vice grip those damn things. You may need to reuse them. You never know. This is a two nut kind of job. Little torque. Go to your bottom nut. And you spin off the top nut. <laughs> Torque it again. Ow. Shit the bed. We're going to the Nancy cabinet. On the plus side, she's free. Oh. Better than factory. This one didn't want to fight near as bad. Which is good, because I can't lose that pinky. Take your nuts back off. Then you got your two studs, which is good, because whoever buys this may want to throw the factory carburetor back on it. Uh, and if that is the case, if you're that hardcore about keeping it how it is, I'll give you a hundred bucks for this Weber. That ought to be enough for you to rebuild that piece of junk. <laughs> Get back here, trash going everywhere. Speaking of trash, people who like those carburetors are gonna hate me. So, looks like we need to pull out the other two to put these in. All right, we are gonna use some Loctite. Had to pick this up at the local hardware store. I need to order some, cause that crap was higher than the SR71, but we gotta have it. So, just gonna do a little drop on each one, and yeah, we'll get them studs in. Oh, <laughs> little drop, hell. That stuff might be priced to the moon, but at least that bottle's full. I, I thought about pushing it and it came out. Hell, I got some of that extra off there. Of course, these are a little smaller. Gotta get 11 mil here. And I'm gonna install them the same way. Little extra. All right, we ain't gonna push our damn luck. For whatever reason she comes loose, I'd rather have to get in there and tighten it up again than break some stuff off. Thought we just dropped a nut down the intake. We did it. Now this baby called for some kind of lubricant on these gaskets. Uh, I'll be honest, you're just getting a gasket. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we're gonna hit our hit our little shield plate here, I notice. Looks like we're gonna do a little bit of clearancing. One bolt to pull this puppy. That right there ends up being the deal breaker. Someone's like, I was gonna buy that car until you ground that off that little heat shield, whatever. Hey, I tried to make her look slick, all right? I didn't just hack it. And just right here on this edge, just a hair. Boy, it's like I know what I'm doing. I just got lucky. Just the thickness of that old belt. Nice little round on the corner. Just enough to clear that puppy. Slap our bolt back in the heat shield. Slap in these old flush mounts with a little red Loctite. Torque her down with old Allen wrench. <sighs> Throw our extra studs in. A little Loctite on them babies too. Now this is where this one's gonna get a little tricky because I don't believe it actually bottoms out in that adapter plate, does it? It's just gonna go through. Yeah. So if you torque on that too much, you're just gonna start putting stress on that plate. So I guess we get those snug a lug and then let the Loctite do their job. And hope to hell the Loctite holds it. Next, we're gonna throw on this sweet mama. Capable of 7,000 horsepower. For years, known as the Screaming Demon. We've got the Weber 3236. Most folks don't know it, but that meant this thing added 32 horsepower, 36% of the time. Ah. 
Ah, that's got to come off. I'll be honest, I was really trying to not take anything off of this damn thing because just in case someone wants to put it back, factory. But that don't look like it's going to be the case. By the way, I do know a few people told me to throw the factory carb back on. The factory carburetor wasn't letting fuel through. I did it with the electric fuel pump. When it started letting fuel through, it was straight, like just dumping fuel. So I'm not messing with that thing. If I kept this car, I'd pull all this smog crap off of it anyways myself. I know that ain't keeping it factory, but I don't, I don't care about smog crap. Yep. That's that. I mean, that just looks terrible. Just looks like a bad idea to even have this crap on there. But we're gonna save all this crap. And if you're so hardcore Dotson, you gotta have it back on there. I would say I'd help you throw it back on, but the chances are you're gonna know more about them than me if you wanna keep a Dotson that original. So we need to rotate this hose clamp. We need to get a block off plate on that turd. Boy, what in the gasket and sealant we got going on here. Well, at least all this crap's coming off easy. Boy, I guarantee y'all, whenever we throw a motor together for the truck, go pick them up outside, I guarantee y'all, we are el eliminating as much of this crap as possible. She'll probably get that polished unit that I just got in the mail that already has a block off plate right there. We'll be done with all this. Torque it like you love it, but don't smoke that baby to Alabama good let's see here oh yeah you better rotate hi right, these cheapos from harbor freight they, they do pretty damn good i ain't gonna lie now let's see if this baby fits or what are we gonna hit next it fits looks like this is gonna be in our way and it looks like with two bolts, we can take that off. So I'm just gonna take it off. The dots and purists are cringing. Boop. Don't worry, I put it over there in the box of goodies. <clears throat> I guess there's a little more room to play with throttle. Yeah, we got a port right there. So before I set that down on there for good, I wanted to kind of come look and See what that is. Uh, where are we at here? Right chair, vacuum advance port. So that means we need to take that baby to right here. So this other one, I got to looking at it and it just goes down to this. So I don't think we need to worry about hooking it up. Uh, yeah, I need some vacuum hose. Last I know of having, I used all up. So sitting right here on this 305 that I was supposed to sell by now and I haven't. Uh, Maybe we got a junk piece that'll work. Gonna clip the end and at least make her look nice. I think that'll work. Now, as much as I'm a fan of these little whoopy dude washers, uh, I think I'm just throwing the factory lock washers back on myself. That's how you start it with a magnet, baby. Might take a little bit off this side. This is a cheapo wrench. Took a little off both sides when I was there. In the last video, we just tried that off the old starter switch and it would move fuel, but I don't know if it's necessarily building pressure, but also you're going just off of uh, you know, your cranking speed of your starter. I don't know if this baby started running that that thing wouldn't build some pressure. So we're just gonna try leaving it on there. So I'm gonna leave the return. So we just basically need to take our supply from right here to right here for our first attempt, I reckon. Now, some of this vacuumness, like I said, I don't think we have to worry about this. This goes down to our canister. I don't really know exactly how it works in here, but we got some vacuum sitting open right here. I honestly just want to take this stuff off and I'm going to cap it and we'll just hold on to this stuff for now. So we'll pull that one off. 
Real easy to put on, don't freak out. Pull that baby. And then way down there is a hose clamp. Great. Let's just pull her off of that side for now. Y'all know that song? Like the everybody was kung fu fighting. When I was pulling all that stuff off, all I could hear is the dots and purists start crying. Ha! I got a lot, but I got a couple still. They're gonna have to be stretched to fit. Pure, authentic pudding spit. Oh, too big. All right. I don't even want to hear it, okay? I'll get some real ones next time I head to the park store, but I ain't driving 20 damn minutes to get one vacuum plug. I got some duct tape and vacuum hose right here. We'll just fold that baby over on itself. Custom. Ow! Shit. Plugs plugged. I think I meant plugged is plug. No. Plugged is plugged. Damn it. Get on there. Throw this little fuel hose on here. I lost my damn quarter inch ratchet. Probably somewhere in one of these salvage yards or something. Ow. Damn it. Watch this safety latch on these hoods. They are sharp. Just for now, we're going to slap the return and the pickup just into a gas can to see if we can get it running. See if we have to swap this baby out. I don't know what we're getting into. Let me throw the old plug wires back on this baby. And then uh, I'm just going to hook up the factory wiring for the coil. Hopefully all that wiring is good. Really still haven't checked it. And last but not least... Old number two. All right, we'll get her running. We can clean some of that up a little better if we want. For the whole electric choke, I'll probably turn the key on, figure out which one of these is hot, and just run it to electric choke for now. Let's grab the battery for this baby. It would be nice if I had a way to clean those before I put those on. Oh wait, you damn right, Gabe. Hey, I can actually read the screen on this one, unlike my old fluke that's plumb worn out. 12.82. I'm going to turn on the old key, and we're going to check some over here. Red one's got 12 volt key. Uh, I believe that was to the fuel shut off solenoid. So I don't want to cut that and hook it to that. I want to make it where I can like, plug onto that somehow. So. Let me whip up some kind of wire. We'll just go from the red to the choke. Now that's easy to change for anyone who wants to change it. Well, got our choke hooked up, fuel lines hooked up. First fuel pumps ready to try. Kind of plugged off some vacuum stuff, got our plug wires back on. Uh, last thing I can think of real quick is Let's look at the throttle linkage setup on this bad boy and see what we're going to have to do to get it operating. So this thing kind of needs to go right in here. And yeah, you can kind of see how that works. Uh, my pickup truck had a throttle cable, so it's easy to make this work. Uh, we might need to take this thing off. Because a little coupler like that right there, that's on this factory one, would probably do just fine. Yeah, they don't require a lot of torque, that's for certain. Just slip that baby right back on there. Now if this just fits on there, we'll be in good shape. So I know I said I thought it was weird that uh, this thing came all wrapped up and just with the top of the box, but all this stuff was already installed on this throttle lever and there's actually instructions for it, so I think they just installed the throttle lever probably before they send it out. Probably because they don't want people breaking it because I'm sure they're over torquing it or something. 
So hopefully we don't do that. We're gonna be gentle with her. Got a little keeper here. Keep that nut from backing off even. Oh yeah, that baby is barely tight at all. Guarantee you people are smoking them and breaking it and then wanting to return it. Even though the instructions say do not over torque. We need that right there, which means we need this right here. Please slide on there. Damn it. Damn it. Different size. Oh, just playing. I'm an idiot. Went right on. Throw our lock tab back on. We're going to run this nut down. That should do it right there, folks. Just make sure it's even going to go in. Man, was that just really that easy? Bend our locking tab back. First video with old Aunt Dorothy here. All this thing had in there was a spring. No kind of cotter pin, even there's a, even though there's a hole. Uh, obviously, it's missing some stuff. So, let me show you the simplest way. I just thought of retaining this. And this is about a half inch of that quarter inch fuel hose. I put a little drop of lube inside that hose because I know this is about to be a tight fit on her. Now looky there. I think we're all right right there. I think that'll work, everyone. I tried to drill that little shaft. I was planning on just adding a cotter pin on the end, but that son of a bitch is so hard a cat can't scratch it. So yeah, a little drill bit wasn't getting it done. Give her a little test push. Hell, I reckon it's working. And we need to throw a spring on here. Where is the easiest place to put a return spring? He said right up there, 10 points. This current spring is going down to absolutely nothing. There's a bracket there, but I don't understand what it's supposed to be doing. There's no reason to have a spring on this. Now, surely this was supposed to go over here from the factory. Makes sense to me anyhow. Now let's give her the old foot test. There we go. That feels better. All right, we got some throttle going on now. Choke. I think we got her all going. Why don't we top her off with some old water first? All right, there you go, sweet mama. We need to throw the little gas tank on real quick. Uh, I'm gonna leave the key on to hopefully make the coil hot. But we are going to hook up a starter switch where we can control it from underneath here. Uh, we'll bust her off on some uh, on the bottle of some Get Her Done 91. And hopefully that'll get everything going if that fuel pump is working. And it'll hold it idle itself. And if it ain't working, then we'll start messing with fuel. Fun. Starter should be live. She's live. I'll throw that rag down there to kind of cover up that 12 volt solenoid. I may have set this thing on fire last time. I know it wasn't bad, don't worry. There's a little residual gas and yeah, I may have arced it off there and luckily I didn't explode. We're gonna move the gas. Be sure to keep a fire extinguisher or charcoal. That way you can either put the damn fire out or make sure she stays going. Well, key's on so the coil should be hot, hopefully. Coil's hot. It helps if you hook up the wire to the distributor that's gonna send your ground to your coil.
doesn't sound terrible. We're gonna tune on it some, but we've got her holding a decent idle right now. Looks like the only gauge we have is temp gauge, so we'll see if it ends up moving up at all. Uh, no oil pressure light. Those lights do work when you first turn them on, so maybe that's a good sign. Our fuel pump's leaking, which ain't good. Uh, I'm gonna kill this thing, take it off the starter switch. Let's see if she'll start off the key, and then maybe let's see if the transmission works at all. Yeah, fuel pump's working, but it's also shooting fuel out of it. Uh, it's, it's leaking. She may have had a leak back in her day. Oh yeah, there's some in there. She might be a hair low, but not much. Clean. Just top her off since I'm in here with some 80-90. She looks good from behind me. Yeah. And also since we're under here, before we pull this baby into gear, uh, I'm gonna pull this drain plug on this old gas tank. There you go for everyone who said the frame was going to be Swiss cheese. I hope you like that Swiss cheese that I'm pointing at with a certain finger for a reason. <laughs> Is that all Swiss cheese? About all this. Is this all Swiss cheese? What about all this? Huh? More Swiss? There you go, experts. And I ain't talking to all of you. I'm just the couple people who made a comment saying it was going to be Swiss cheese underneath there. I just didn't look. Oh, there you go. There's the Swiss cheese. The whole car's going to fall apart. She's dry. I'd like to see inside to see if what comes out, any kind of nastiness. I'd prefer to not drop this thing if I don't have to. That thing's just sitting there dripping, so apparently that's why it's so dirty. It just don't seal up good around here, so let's pull that baby back off. We give her a wrap of the old blue monster and she'll seal, I bet. See how that does. Well, I just talked to Sir Mordecus of Mordecus Repair up in North Dakota, I think, and, uh, he asked if I'd stuck something up in there just to make sure there wasn't a layer of stuff. And I said, well, no. I was going to take some brake clean and kind of spray her up in here. And if it came out clean looking, I wasn't going to worry about it. But guess what? It won't go up in there. Damn it. Kill. Oh. That looks like me after Taco Bell night. It smells terrible absolutely terrible burns like a son of a bitch that pinky's on fire that don't feel like regular gas i like they're running aunt dorothy on race fuel got some of that old airplane fuel in that son of a mm. boy it's a good thing i got these tko hand cleaning wipes by sweet patina their hand cleaner knocks out all the rest if you want to get your hand cleaner, you can get it at sweetpatina.com. Be sure to use that promo code on the screen. Be sure to check out their full line of products. She's still going. I ain't scared to clean no damn tank. That ain't going to uh, rain on my parade right now. I'm going to pop this thing in neutral, fire her up, and then pull that baby down in the drive, see if she goes in the gear, and then put it in neutral, let it come to a stop, and we'll check reverse too. Hopefully 
said transmission stays good just because it went forward and back a little bit on jack stands don't mean we're in the clear uh things are looking pretty good right now i guess we're gonna drop that nasty ass tank i was just talking to my buddy old mortsky again uh i was telling him about how that coffee just came out of there he said we ought to try a new segment instead of will it run we ought to do some will it burn do not try this at home use my ladle and let's see will it burn kind of yeah not really she wasn't gonna run off that folgers yeah i think we need to drop the tank see uh if we still got some coffee grounds up in that baby and go from there How many hoses are on this damn thing? Come on. What in the vent is going on here? Well, y'all just missed it because this baby fell out of here. So that's what I assumed was our supply and return. That's what I assumed was our vent. Then we got these two too. Like, what the hell? That looks good. Now we're going to have to fix some of these, but hell, that's all right. We'll get her dead. Oh, crap. There's some more Swiss cheese haters. cherry don't she <clears throat> that was smart she's rusty but what I can see on the inside I bet she'd still work uh, I'm having a hard time finding parts I actually just left to get all the brake parts ordered brake parts that stuff's gonna be here all on Friday today's Wednesday Tuesday I gotta work the next two days I'll see if they happen to have one of those do you see that? That looks awful. Yeah, we gotta do something about that tank. We are not sitting in good shape right there. I don't know how much pressure washing does on one of those. I reckon I could try it. This is where we need to rig up a shaker. No, I didn't spill any of that when I was carrying it to my drain pans. I pissed myself. I think we need a tumbler. And I know a job for the tow roller when I see it. Kitty litter. Guess we'll just sit here, drink beer, and look pretty. Sounds like it's doing its job. Classic park and brake lever to baseball bat trick and you know set your tumble speed When your wives get rid of all those Laundry detergent containers and stuff like that. You want to hold on to those that way all your nasty fluids you can contain them Let's see if we did any good on this old tank Maybe we did Maybe we didn't She's a little dusty from the old kitty litter, but I think with a good clean out and a rinse of some diesel, she'll be good to go. You know what? I'm pooped. Uh, we're gonna pick back up on Friday. Hopefully clean this thing out, slap her back in the car. Maybe we'll fix some brakes and finally go get that foot long chili cheese dog. get this party started or what? 
Oh yeah, I got me a new hog. It's got all the power. We left off a couple days ago, right? Cleaning out the old tank. Probably should have done something about old Krusty here, but this morning I decided, hey, let's check the old girl with the meter real quick. Let's float her all the way to the top. 0.32. Take her all the way to the bottom. 0 0.0. So this baby's working because it's changing. Now I'm not sure the actual ohm range of this vehicle, but we can assume it's gonna work and cross our fingers and hope. So we wanna kinda clean her up. And that's where Coca-Cola is gonna come in. I've heard it's good at cleaning stuff, but I've never tried it. I figure she's about the right shape to dip that old girl down in, so. That wasn't smart. <laughs> I did not expect that baby to go off like a seventh grade volcano science experiment. Uh, she damn sure did. We'll just leave that thing right there in time out. Let her think about what she did. Now look at some of the stuff I just got out of the gas tank. All right, so I'll be honest. I looked in it. I don't think the kitty litter did that well. Uh, I come out here the night before last, poured a few gallons of gasoline in her, and I just pressure washed the hell out of it again. Now we're gonna try to dry her out. The leaf blower just ran out of fuel and died. Uh, so here's one of the fuel pumps he sent me. And you know, the red and everything's not really my thing. I kind of sprayed it with some degreaser. Uh, I wanted to just paint it black, but I'm out of black. So <laughs> we've got some rattle can chrome. Kind of looks like aluminum when it drives. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you guys want me to say. I'm gonna pull this valve cover, guys, just because I've actually never changed one of these fuel pumps. Even on my old truck, when it went bad, I went to electric. And, hell, that arm's so damn long, I'm guessing it goes up and rides off the front of the cam. So this baby's a little bigger than the old one, and it looks like it's gonna hit this, and well, I guess I'm gonna pull that off there. That's the kind of crap I like pulling off engines anyways myself. I like simplicity, so all the extra doodads on this thing that are just in the damn way, I don't mind getting rid of. Now, if you're the lucky buyer of this wagon who's gonna give me five grand for it, uh, this piece will be in the box, so if you wanna put it back to original, it'll be there waiting for you. How many people just shit their pants because I said five grand? Y'all all like, there ain't no damn way you're getting five grand. Bet. Well, Ratchet and Wrench is handy for that job. All right. Slap the valve cover back on. Yeah, real quick, I'm gonna pull the uh, plugs and check the gap on them because in the last video when I gapped them, I told you I didn't have a spark plug gapper. So I bought one because I lost my old one. Actually, I didn't lose it. I know exactly where it's sitting at. It's on the core support of my grandpa's truck still from when we did the wheel it run on it. I just keep forgetting to grab it. There's a guy who really knows his stuff on this Dotson forum. So he says 32 to 35. Someone commented and told me 25 on these. I don't know, but that sure seems awful small to me. I'm gonna stick to 32. Number four was uh, too tight, actually. It was a little less than 30. Uh, two and three, they were both good. One was 33, one was 35. I'm matching them all right to 32, though. Now let's see what number one was. Thirty-two and a half. So since that old bolt we took out is where the ground goes, I'm gonna use my wire brush here and clean that up so we got a good ground. Hooked our fuel hose back up there. Now I don't have a factory filter, but I wanted a clear one. Uh, this will fit in there, so we need to go there to there. And then you see those two puppies down there? We're gonna put some air on them and blow them babies out to the back.
getting enough air to blast off the undercoating. I need to replace this, but I'm out of quarter inch. I don't have enough, I don't think, to do the tank in that. That hose is really easy to replace, so that's why I chose not to replace it. Underneath here should be all good to go. I'm out of zip ties. Uh, I'll get some though and we'll kind of clean up them wires. Not very good. Don't laugh at how I gotta do this. It's the only way I can get the damn water out of it. Uh, the good thing is, I think we got all of our chunks out anyhow. Most of the kitty litter and stuff. So if we get this baby dried out, we're gonna go for it. Reverse this baby to blow instead of suck. Can y'all see how she's looking down in there now? Pretty good. Now I'm gonna throw this unit back up in here. That's a pain because there's a hose here, 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 there's a filler neck there. We need to slap this baby back in. I mean, damn, what are we doing with all those hoses? I can see some floaters, so that's a good sign. That side definitely looks better. I don't even know if you can get these cinders. I didn't even look them up. That's a heck of a lot better than it was, and we don't have to find one, so cleaned up pretty good. I'd actually say the Coke trick did a pretty damn good job. I'm gonna slap that cinder back in, put the 17,000 hoses on it, and get it mounted back in real quick. We got a special delivery all the way from Washington. Just playing. Washington Street, maybe. This is uh, Justin. He's the one who gave us the blue car. Sorry, buddy. You got to be on camera. It's all right, man. <laughs> He's the one who gave us the uh, B210 that we got most of our money out of where we could even get this damn wagon. And uh, he gets a good deal on used batteries somewhere. He won't tell me where. But he brought us one for the wagon also. So big thanks to Justin here. A little light down. Oh. Who even cares if it's a good battery now? It looks good. Mmm. Damn, that smells good. That's that sticky, icky tire renew from Sweet Patina. Hey, this dude, I'm telling you, he makes sure every product smells like heaven. So, I'm just saying, that's how he hooks me, all right? Damn, it smells good. Now, when you drive around, your battery will get nice and dusty because I put that detail spray on it. We're gonna have to pay attention there. We might be doing a little sparking and arcing if we try to close that. Still need to tune on the carburetor. Gas tank it is in. What a damn nightmare with all those hoses. We need to address the brakes next. That's what I wanna do. Move the old quick connect tire. I found as many parts as I could from the auto zone. These things are hard to find parts for. Now I know you can get them on Rock Auto, but I didn't have the time to wait, so I couldn't get, you know, so I can get y'all video on time, basically. Uh, I'm gonna go eat some lunch, get me a little snacky snack, some more energy in me, and then we're gonna attack the brakes on this thing. One of these days I'll get smart, and when I pressure washed up, I'll quit using my uh, foot to hold it and get my shoes soaked. So none of these hoses are right. The front ones may fit, they'd be pulled entirely too tight to be safe. Now these old ones aren't broke, they're not in the greatest shape, but here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna have to order the stuff offline, probably a Rock Auto. So if I'm gonna have to order hoses, let's do as least as possible on the brakes right now. Which pretty much means throw a set of rotors on it and the brake pads. Guys, I've had to go to town three times now. <sighs> My patience is about worn is what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, two bolts to pull. <clears throat> the suckers are all there. The good news is Boyd called me earlier and Boyd's the gentleman I bought this from, from the salvage yard. And they said, hey, I happened to go through my box of 47,000 titles. Do you happen to know if that Dotson was a 77? I said it was. And he said, do you know the VIN number? 
And I said, I do. And I gave it to him. And well, I'll be damned if we ain't got a title for this old girl. Now, if your goal was to change the world's smallest brake pads, you'd be in business. But since we're gonna slap us a new rotor on this puppy, well, we need to pop this dust cap. I, I really wish we just had new rubber hoses for this thing. Ah, uh, see there? You don't want those babies smoked, but damn, you don't want them with no preload at all on those bearings. So, pull that nut. There's our old washer and our outside bearing. Pull those puppies. I'm gonna use my mandle to chalk my wheel. There she goes. There goes the whole table. Now real quick, I'm gonna clean this unit up. A little wire brushing on this. Uh, all the old grease off of it. Yeah, basic stuff. Just clean the damn thing. Bower. That uh, says USA. Are you supposed to put USA made parts on a Japanese car? I don't know. Probably breaking the JDM Brotherhood code right here using a USA part. Japanese only. JDM, bruh. Bucket o' lard. We gonna pack them real nice. Oh yeah. She's lubed up. I don't know how much grease y'all give wheel bearings, but I give it all of it. If I can fit it, I put it in there. A dollop will do ya. Oop, didn't mean to drop that in there, but we'll take it. Get her a little snug. There you go. Could be doing that wrong too, but y'all know what? My ways ain't left me on the side of the road yet. You never know, so you may want to pop a little extra grease in that old cap. All right, there we go. Let's change the world's smallest brake pads. And those babies were definitely due for a changing. Use our old C-clamp here and compress this piston. Here comes the nasty fluid. There we go, you damn right. Some new pads. I think our calipers are gonna be fine. Elray's giving us a tune for free. No charge this time. Sing it, girl. Sorry. Come on. Sing it. There she goes. Hey, there we go. What? Hey, baby. We just so happen to have a couple bolts that fit from uh, some of the stuff we removed up front. Oh yeah. Just remove that baby one handed. Drums don't look too bad. We should be able to clean them up and be good. Everything in here gets a lubing. I don't give a damn. It's a box. It's a tripod. Man, this baby's heavy duty too. That's a nice unit. What do you think? Whoever sent this us all oh, thank you very much. That's my size. What? Feels like a book. Yeah. My it is a book. Huh.
Detail it yourself. The car enthusiast guide to a fantastic looking card. I'm not very good at reading. Get too distracted. Starter switch. I think. Boom, baby. Okay. <laughs> Look, that's it. It's another starter switch. Okay, this one I got it by myself. This Look. Is <laughs> we have four now. <laughs> I feel like these are not going to stop showing up. I feel like that's going to be an ongoing joke where people are going to keep sending them. Please send more. I want my dad to laugh so hard. Let's just say I can't read this note. I'm not going to read that, but the first letter it starts with a P. All right. Natural energy drinks. The power of P energy even has your shop name on it. Love this channel. If this offends you, this may not be for you, buddy. Stephen Kelly. <laughs> Hell, at least they're only 98 calories. Um, don't know what to tell you, Stephen. I haven't drank an energy drink in about two and a half years, and I don't plan on starting now, even with that tempting name. So, uh, I'll either give away my... Or, uh, I do have some boomsticks, and we could make them explode. I don't know if you try to slide that in because I keep the channel PG and you throw me a curveball, but nonetheless, thank you, I think. Wonder if the tow roller could smash one. I don't know what the hell else we're gonna do with five others, but we'll figure it out. Thanks everyone for the gifts. We're gonna get back on it in the morning. I ain't got time to play around today. No jokes. No one-liners, just work. You want me serious? You done got me serious. And pull that doohickey. Could y'all imagine me trying to be like full serious all the time? Not happening. Pull that doohickey. Not what I was trying to do, but we'll take it. One pad down. They actually don't even look that bad, but I have them, so I'm gonna replace them. Pull that old rubber cover right there. And this, I think is interesting. I've never seen it before. Never seen one held on with little slide on clips. Kind of interesting. There we go. Clean our hardware. This old hardware ain't in too bad a shape, so. Uh, which is good because I couldn't get a hardware kit anywhere local. Let's go throw this baby back together. Make sure that baby interlocks back there uh, or you won't get the drum back on because it pushes the shoe out too far. Don't ask me how I know. I may have done the other side already. And right as you poke this baby through, uh, get your rubber cover on too. Don't ask me how I know. I may have done the other side already. Slide on our first clip. Slide on our second clip. And last but not least, slide on the last one. Good old number three. She's gonna look something like that. Then we gotta flip that rubber seal around and push her down on. There we go. Go slap this pin back in for our parking brake and start our brake line. Nothing says classic fun like rebuilding drum brakes. Am I right? All right. Throw this side on. Retaining clip. There we go, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Could have done that when that was off, loosen our little adjuster out and then tap those in. These drums aren't terrible. Um, feel pretty even, no cracks or nothing. Tiny bit of surface rust. Probably where some water sat in there. I think we're good, folks. Our adjuster back here has kind of got like a cam lobe on it. 
as you rotate it, you can see it pushing in and out. So we're just gonna give her a little turn. You'll feel it kind of over. And then, yeah, she needs a little drag on her. Right there. That's it. You can feel it. I gotta clean up the old shop again. I don't like it being a total mess. Uh, when I'm thinking about it, before we start bleeding these brakes, I got this PB blast in my hand. I need to spray down the damn door hinges. I keep forgetting. That's better. Oh, nice little filter. One there too. Let that soak down there. Just found one of my old paint brushes. Looks like that did good on that master cylinder. And then look what I did. I zip tied a rag in there. That way it wouldn't make a huge freaking mess. And that worked too. I think we're going to be good on the old master cylinder, hopefully. And uh, I think those little drop in filters may have kind of saved us. Uh, that's where all the crap was. So, everything cleaned up pretty good. Get this nasty crap off my hands. I did spray down those filters before I dropped them back in. They cleaned up, look brand new too. So, wipe my hands down. This is the same wipe from yesterday. It's still wet. It cleans just as good. <laughs> I'm just playing. So this baby's gonna pull vacuum into our jar. We're gonna hook this up to our bleeder where the fluid will start getting vacuumed into here. It's gonna fall into the jar and start filling up. And well, we're gonna let this baby uh, bleed itself and we're gonna sit here and relax. Couldn't get anything to the rear, so we're gonna start up here at the master cylinder. Oh yeah, come on baby, you can do it. I know a good vacuum pump and you can do that. I've even used the vacuum off the engine on the truck to bleed its brakes. Uh, but this one just ain't getting it done. It's barely getting a drip. So we're just going to dip it down in the fluid and start pumping our foot by ourself. Maybe you can tell that jar filled up some. Um, I just had to top that baby off again. So... I guess let me go around here and get these babies all bled. I thought I was gonna be all creative and use the shop back, but I guess instead I'm gonna have to use the old shop leg. Kept topping that baby off until uh, quit getting air bubbles. You can see we got quite a bit of nasty stuff out of there. We're gonna move to this side. Uh, flush this baby out, get her cleaned up. I ran a whole bottle of new fluid through there so you can see all the nasty crap we got out. And I've got a good brake pedal now, so that's the way you can kind of do it by yourself. Uh, if you want, on that last push, give her a good one, prop that brake pedal down, and then uh, tighten off your bleeder. That way you don't suck up any of that old crap. And Yeah, it's a process, but it works. That was smart. Hit this mama with about five gallons worth. I'm really bad about losing funnels. Damn, I hope I got some in the gas tank. <laughs> Y'all ready for another segment of Will It Burn? <laughs> Just playing. Do not do that. Don't even spill that much gas in the first place like me. We are gonna try to get this baby warmed up. I just turned the key on. We are testing the fuel pump and we've gotta get fuel all the way up to here. So I got us a bottle and we're just gonna go off the starter switch. Running off what's left in the car right now. I would think we'd have fuel by now. I can't blow any air or suck any air out of that one. Any guess what the problem was? You already know. It was a fuel pickup. Uh, layer of crap in the bottom. Use some, use some filler rod and was able to 
knock it out of there luckily. Uh, let's see if we can prime this baby. Got her primed up now. She don't sound terrible, but she ain't quite right. I'm gonna let it sit here and warm up. Let's see if this bad girl will pull out of here. Something funny's going on here. See y'all later. I just turned that thing around and as long as you let her idle, she was fine. If you try to give her any gas, backfire, wanna die. I had it one, four, three, two, instead of one, three, four, two. She runs hell of a lot smoother. Oh, we're going for it. Oh yeah, Aunt Dorothy. Just felt a downshift, which is good. We're cruising this baby. She feels like she could use an alignment, believe it or not. So if you hear kind of like a tunk, 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 tunk noise, that is, I can hear the speedometer clicking. And uh, I know part of the PVC bull crap, whatever, is actually sitting there bouncing and tapping on the engine too, which makes a noise. Hey, there's Bill. What do you think about that, Bill? Is that with your manifold on it? Huh? Is that with your manifold on it? No, uh, I got a Different Weber, motor. yeah. It, it sounds good. It, it runs good, guess what? It runs a lot better when you have a firing order right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Aunt Dorothy got any power? these things never had just a crazy amount of power but it's definitely more sluggish through the automatic than if you're driving a manual but no surprise there right i'm not even afraid to smack that dip i just smacked because this thing's got those beefed up control arms you damn right there's a trash truck right there that's a real trash truck coming in hot Oh yeah. Tomorrow the plan is I'm gonna get out here, let her warm up again, and we're gonna tune it on the right firing order. And I bet she runs a hell of a lot better. Then I think we're finally gonna get that chili cheese dog. And I promised Elray we could take the bikes for some hot laps. So I gotta ride a bike. Getting brave this morning. Those damn things are so sunbaked. I've been scared to touch them, but I said, what the heck, we're going for it. Uh, let's fire her up. Let her get up to temp and we're gonna tune on this baby some. Slap the breather on her. Damn right. She's running pretty good right there. Can y'all hear the difference this makes in sound? Slap the old breather on. These turned out pretty good. I was scared to handle them, but I'm glad they did. Kind of helped clean her up some. And of course, just like the rest of the days, it's gotta be raining, damn it. What sucks is we can't really work camera shots. I haven't even tested the windshield wipers. Yeah, those are overrated. Guys, it's been raining for a damn week and they're showing it's gonna rain for another week. My damn grass is gonna be seven foot tall by the time I can mow it. Oh, you damn right. Why is this place so busy? Oh my lordy. I swear if they sell out of those foot long chili cheese dogs, I'm gonna walk up in there. We're about to get rear ended. What in the hell? 
Oh yeah, out of order. I want a foot long chili cheese dog, but I'm about to get the hell out of here. Y'all gonna test, test my patience today. Y'all damn Sonic drinks ain't that serious. Oh, out of order. Oh, oh. I'll better roll that window down because I'm getting hot. It's fixing to get spicy in here if this one next to me is out of order too. I'm about to be the worker, the manager, and the supervisor one in that damn place. I'm about to come up in there like I own it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, can I please get a number seven, that foot-long chili cheese dog with some tater tots and a Coca-Cola with easy ice, please. I have a full-on chili cheese That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. So I actually haven't even gone through all the controls in here. Obviously, the windshield wipers don't work. I did test the blinkers. I did test the brake lights. Uh, the headlights and running lights will come on, but it's a little finicky in the switch. You got to wiggle there just right. Uh, but I guess... One of these days, I need to go through everything, see if we can't get some tunes on this radio or what. I should have bought two of them foot longs and put one in the mail and sent it to Mortsky. <laughs> I said tater tots. I should have got some damn french fries. More of a french fry kind of mood. Hello. Okay. Good, how are you? Oh, there it is. I've worked for that hot dog for a long time. There you go. Thank you. I don't know if I'm driving a Datsun or a sewing machine, this baby's so smooth. Hey, they may have been busier than hell when we got here, and they may have been two stalls, three stalls down, but they still got me that foot long in like two minutes flat. I ain't messing around. Clear. She is not a powerhouse. She just ain't. We ain't worried about no damn power, though. If we were worried about power, we wouldn't be riding around in a Datsun. We're worried about looking cool. <laughs> hey, I'll crack some jokes, but I really think this wagon actually looks cool. Come in and hot. Move it, bird. I'll smash that ass. Oh! Woo! We just made it rain. Not on the foot long! Come on! My, that, that'll be another day. I mean, I'd say it's working. <laughs> you damn right. She's pretty good. Here we go, baby. Mm. How about bite number two? Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just as good as bite number one. Can I be honest with you guys? I don't even like these damn things. I mean, they're all right. Oh, shit. About spilt my wiener. But they're definitely not what I hyped them to be. I just said it one day as a joke, and it's been an underlying joke now. I mean, we had to finally earn one of these, and I feel like we finally earned it. Girl, you about scared the hell out of me. No, I'm not kidding. That's a spider. Oh, there's a spider, but it's just daddy long leg. It won't hurt you. Mm -mm. There you go. Give me another. All right. There you go, hot rod. Well, we got her running, got her driving, got a title, got a foot long chili cheese dog. I guess there's only one thing left to do. but her name's Aunt Dorothy and something about her just does it for me. She shined up pretty damn good, even with these beauty marks all over the hood. 
The potato sauce gave her just enough pop. She makes traffic stop and hearts drop. Fresh tires, yeah, baby. Cleaner than Stanley's steamer. Now we're talking. And she has a fresh engine. Hot damn. Let's take a look at this engine with some fresh carburetion. Most folks don't know it, but the L20B engine actually stands for how far you can drive one of these damn things. Like 20 billion miles. This mama produces some premium compression, about a buck 80 per cylinder after some testing. She's got a full tune up and a fresh carburetor. You can mash that gas like a potato. This baby is perfect for anyone who wants to be perfect. New brakes mean she'll stop on a dime. Them tires look sharper than a pissed porcupine. Inside don't look too bad, dagnabbit. She goes through the gears and she's automatic. The interior cleaned up for a nice driver. Back seat lays down for activities inside. The black looks classy, sassy, and says, come on, baby, get at me. This baby would make a great fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon, shagging wagon, napping wagon, kid having grocery packing, never slacking automobile. I'm glad to have her, but you know the deal. It's time for Aunt Dorothy to give someone new some thrills. She's got a whiskey bin here and there. Hell, she ain't perfect, but we're gonna find her a good home. Hell, she deserves it. I ain't priced it yet, but I ain't gonna give it away. Hell, you don't see a lot of these on the road these days. So if you ain't a tire kicker and you got deep pockets, shoot me an email and maybe you can rock it. And don't forget folks, if someone got a deal and it's a good one, chances are they dealt with pudding. Here at Puddin's Park It and Mark It. Alright, here's the dealio folks. I ain't priced the damn thing yet. I've had about a hundred people ask, but the price is whatever top dollar is. So I gotta do some research and figure out what exactly I think I can get for this. I'm hoping at least five. Uh, check out this cut. Lady from work, when the operators made that for me, Rosemary. Yeah, she also got sent with a couple of these signs from uh, Jared Weffer. I think you say it like that. Pretty neat. And then check that old girl out from my birthday party. Uh, thank you guys for that stuff from my buddy Carlos and his family. Boy, I got more gifts in this damn video than I know what to do with. This baby's running good. She's driving, but here's the deal. This is still a project. Uh, this is a start driving it and you may have to fix some stuff on down the road those rubber hoses on the brakes I would definitely still replace if you know, I, I didn't even test the alternator We need to test the alternator see if it's charging, you know, uh, it still came out of the salvage yard everyone so Expect a couple problems with it, but I think we got a solid car here. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, It was a lot of work to get it to this point I don't know what we're gonna do next with it if anything or if I'm just gonna find it a new home so uh, if you're on Instagram, I'm on there, Puddin's Fab Shop. And don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. But I don't want to get rid of this project. I do, but I don't. You know what I mean? But, yeah, can't keep them all, can we? She can make a great fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon. She can make a great fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon. She can make a great... Fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon. She can make a great fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon. She can make a great fishing wagon, dragon wagon, stabbing cabin. She can make a great fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon, shagging having. She can make a great fishing cabin. She can make a great fishing wagon. This baby would make a great fishing cabin, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon, shagging having. This baby would make a great fishing cabin. This baby would make a great fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon, shagging wagon, napping. This baby would make a great fishing wagon, stabbing cabin, dragon wagon, shagging wagon, napping wagon, kid having grocery packing, never slacking automobile.